Hi, my name is Colin Sia. I'm the Founder Director of Ministry of Design and it's my pleasure to welcome you to Singapore. If you look at Singapore's past, I think it was really known more as a clean and green city. Clean as in almost to the point of being boring. There seemed to be a saturation of mass market experiences. From about 2000, 2005, things started to sort of rapidly open up. We've traditionally been a port, things pass through us, goods, services, now ideas. And Singapore now is a lot more exciting. Two key examples that come to mind that really characterize the shift in the Singapore now would be Dempsey for FMB and then the Haji Lane area for boutiques. Dempsey is a really interesting story. It used to be the colonial army barracks. It was the first major sort of adaptive reuse project in Singapore where a building that was once maybe governmental or institutional was given back to the market. I think that shift has also taken root and you see more districts now being reclaimed this way. On the boutique front, along Haji Lane, you would find maybe 30 independent boutiques, very whimsical, all with strong personalities, just a great amount of variety without having to see a brand that you would find also in California or a brand you would find in the UK. When the market shifted to encourage and be hungry for these more alternative forms of, of lifestyle experiences, it was great for designers. I think without this sort of increased level of curiosity and diversity, firms like ours would not really be able to exist because there would just be no market for the work that we do. We are very privileged to design the first, I think, true boutique hotel in Singapore, which was also the first member of the Design Hotels Group, and it's called the New Majestic Hotel, and it was radical for its time. Because of the need for more firms to provide work of this nature, I think young people have been much more encouraged and feel that it's less of a risk to enter the design field. In Singapore, most of the time our parents just want us to be accountants or lawyers or doctors, you know. But architect, uh, you know, a bit dodgy and then uh, interior designer and artist, oh, you're lost cause. But not anymore. I think a lot of young people are, are being encouraged to do so. Parents see that the, it's a good career path and the educational institutions have also responded. The government has opened this thing called SOTA, School of the Arts. Schools like SOTA are not just great physical examples of architecture, but they're also symbols of where Singapore is headed in terms of culture, in terms of design.